I know, wow, it's more people than I thought. Shit. <laughs> um, all right, I rap. My professional name is Killer Mike. My mother named me Michael Render. So you guys, please, if you tweet about it, please include my actual name. R-E-N-D-E-R. Is they sitting here? I love you, brother. It's good to see you. I want to say this. Because I'm not a preacher, I'm not a politician, so I can talk how I want to, I can say what I want to, because I ain't got to worry about black folks getting scared because most of my audience is white people. <laughs> I'm going to be as honest with you as I am, young white progressives. If you're not banking black, me and you can't have a conversation. Because you can't tell me to care about black on black violence, you can't tell me to care about police on black violence, you can't tell me you care about the conditions of your community. If you're a preacher, you can't tell me Jesus love my community. If you are not putting your money where black people are putting their money. I'm not giving you no exceptions. I'm not giving you no outs. The only out I'll give you is if you're a little nervous, you need to keep a big bank account and just start small here, that's fine. But to not have a black bank account post this day, I mean, we ain't cool, my nigga. We're not cool on no level. If you don't have $100 in a black bank account, you can't talk to me about Michael Jordans. You can't talk to me about black history. You can't talk about me who discriminating against you on your job. You can't tell me the Lord really loved me because you are not putting your money where your mouth is. All right? You understand me? So your prerequisite for if you talk to your auntie today, if you talk to your white friend, your Spanish friend, if you talk to your boyfriend or your girlfriend, is what did you do? With your hundred dollars. Now, last night, I was smoking marijuana in a strip club with my wife. <laughs> and I don't have no shame in saying that because I don't want you to ever mistake me for a preacher or a politician. Hear what I'm telling you, I don't ever want you to mistake me for somebody who's pious. I'm an artist. I rap words for a living, I dance and jig for white people, and I cuss in front of my children, but they get good grades. <laughs> Before me and my wife left, my wife said, you know, you need to take that last hundred dollars. You know what you need to do to it tomorrow. I said, take it to a strip club in Miami? She said, no, nigga. <laughs> because that's how she talks to me when she's serious. She said, you need to put it in the bank in front of people tomorrow because I hadn't started my online account. She said, you need to do it there in person. This is $100. We all have spent $100 over the course of the last week buying fast food. We spent $100 buying a pair of sneakers we like. We spent $100 ordering something off Amazon we like. We spent $100 in the past seven to 14 days, but did we spend it with one another? I'm not even asking you to spend $100. I'm saying take $100, put it in a bank, and then people call and say, well, what do we do next? Take another $100, put it in the bank. And the following month, take another hundred dollars because you ain't saving the bank. You're teaching yourself to save. You're teaching yourself basic economics. Basic economics is nobody's gonna pay my bills, nobody's gonna feed me, nobody's gonna save me, ain't nobody coming out the sky to break the bank for me. I must save myself and I will take every one of my dollars and I will put them into my account and I will learn how to save money. I will learn how to tell myself next week for joints. I will learn how to tell myself I'm gonna hold on a little while longer before I pay the cable bill, I'm gonna watch local a few more days. <laughs> this is not about banking black. This is about changing the way you think. I'm not banking black. I'm banking on black people to save themselves. No one is coming to save you. No one loves you. You have no friends. No one's coming down and say, oh man, black people been treated so badly. We got grants for them. Ain't no welfare, ain't no health care. The only people who gonna save you look to your left, look to your left, and look to your right. Those are the only allies you have. Those are the only advocates you have. If they don't put their money in this bank, don't talk to them either. We have suffered long enough in this country begging people we say don't like us to like us. We have suffered under systems long enough in this country to say that finally they don't work for us. You know why politicians don't work for you? Because you don't work for politicians. You don't work for politicians because you don't organize your money. You don't organize your money so you don't have no lobby groups. You don't have no lobby groups so you ass out again. And I'm saying to you right now, 
The first step to organizing your money as a collective is learning how to organize your money on your own. Take your 20, your 30, your 40, your 50, and dedicate to saving some money in a black bank every month and develop your discipline. Then what you do, then you take 300, you get a secure credit card, and you start teaching yourself. See, I'm about to punk ass Jordans. And I'm about them Jordans, and I'm gonna pay them off in time, and I'm gonna build my credit while I support his punk ass. <laughs> and I said it like I meant it, because it took take you 30 years to give one million dollars to the NAACP. It should take you 30 years to apologize for not saying nothing. And I'm not mad at Mike, but I'm mad at us. Because for every pair of Michael Jordans we bought, we could have started two bank accounts. For every pair of Air Maxes we bought, we could have snapped bought one pair and opened a bigger bank account. But I'm here to tell you, nobody loves you. Nobody's coming to save you. Ain't nothing coming out of the sky. I don't care who you pray to. I don't care if they look like you or not. Nothing, nothing is going to fix your problem like dealing with yourself will fix your problem. Nobody's going to give you a loan if you're not invested in their bank. And if the big banks ain't giving you a loan, move your money into a smaller bank. Bank black. Bank small, bank local. Watch your results start to change. Bank black, bank small, bank local. Start demanding that your ministers put the money where you put the money. If I put my money here, you got to put your money here or I'm not paying tithes anymore. Listen to what I said. I said, go to your minister after church Sunday. I didn't say wait a month. Go to him after church Sunday and say, this is what I did. Yesterday, what are you going to do Monday? And if he don't say I'm doing something, take all your time, money back.